Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Skin AI tool. The Skin AI tool analyzes your image and can automatically enhance and retouch a person's skin while giving you the complete control over how the content aware adjustments are applied. Additionally, Skin AI can get rid of various skin imperfections including acne, freckles and moles. It can also smooth the skin, but make sure small details like hair and eyelashes are sharp. Now this is going to be a faster tutorial as this is a tool with only three options. However, it's really important to know how it works as it's great to use it as a part of your face AI and body AI tool here in Luminar Neo in the portrait section of our tools. So we're going to jump into our application. We are again in Luminar Neo. We are in edit module and we're going to be working on this portrait right here. Our attention goes towards the portrait section of our toolbar here and we're looking at the skin AI. Now we have a two sliders and one option button starting with the amount slider. The amount slider smooths the skin and removes unwanted variations while preserving texture and detail. Now we're going to use the sliders, let's push it up and let's see what it's going to do to the image. And once again, there are two things I want to remind you here. When we're using these sliders, I really want you to go ahead and push it all the way up to see the difference on the image. So that way you learn and you can use them in the future. The next thing I want to show you is that when you double click on the name of the slider, it automatically resets to zero or to its default value. So once again, this is our amount slider. And when we push it, we get this nice glow on the face. Now you have to use this carefully. So you keep some natural look to your image. However, I think it creates quite nice look. Moving into the slider number two, the shine removal. Now, if you ever done any portrait photography, you know that excessive shine on the forehead and cheeks ruins otherwise perfect photo. The shine removal tool we are looking at now works by generating realistically looking skin to restore patches of the face where there was uh, too much of the shine, they were washed out uh, and they were washed out by excessive light. Now this slider adjusts the intensity of the shine removal effect. So we have a little bit of shine at this spot and on the face and around here. And when we push it, you can see how really easily it removes the shine from these parts of the image and his face. So I think that's really cool because it makes the editing so much simpler. And the final option in this tool, the skin defects removal AI. Now this checkbox allows you to automatically remove skin defects in a portrait. Now, obviously there are a few here, maybe one here, one here, one here. So let's have a look if it does the job. So we click on the checkbox and I think, look at that, it removes all of them. I think the result is quite impressive and I think altogether this tool is quite powerful. Now, I think we understand what each of the slider do and now we know what this checkbox does. So let's jump into the catalog and try it on some other images. Now we are here in catalog and we have additional two images to work on. And this is a great time to remind you that if you want to follow me along, if you want to do the editing with me, all you need to do is to jump into the description, follow the link there, and that will bring you to our Dropbox account. 
From there, you can download the files. And just a quick note, you don't need to own a Dropbox account in order to download our files. Once you download them, you get them ready here in Luminar Neo, and you can do the editing together with me. The first picture we're going to be working on is this portrait of the young lady here. So we're going to bring it into the edit module and once again, our portrait section and the skin AI tool. So um, looking at her skin, obviously there are a few imperfections, including some acne um, and freckles and some moles. So let's have a look how we could improve it by using this tool. Starting with the amount slider, adding a little bit of smoothness. We need to be careful not to overdo it and create something unnatural. But I think somewhere around 1820 is a good starting point. Then with the shine removal. So there is definitely some shine on the nose, a little bit on the cheeks and maybe also this part of their face. So let's see if by shifting the slider, we can improve the result a little bit. And I think we can. Uh, let's see before and after. I think the result is quite big. Also at this part, it's helping a lot. So uh, definitely the shine removal is a good tool to have in your pocket. And then finally, yes, there are definitely some parts of the skin which needs a little bit of help. So first of all, let's see if the skin defect removal AI is going to help us. So we just click on the check button. And to be honest, it didn't do the greatest job. It removed about two or three different spots and there is much more to be fixed. So for this, once the skin defect removal AI is not going to do a great job, what we can do, we can use the erase tool. Now, if you never use the erase tool, we have a full tutorial on how to do that. And you should see the link for it in the corner of your screen now. But I will still show you how to use it for a portrait photography. So first, I think we should zoom in. Uh, and let's see, let's just focus on the red areas and uh, the most visible part of, of her skin. So let's close the skin AI and we will move our attention towards the essential tools and here inside the erase tool. Now, to be honest, the erase tool is great for all type of photography, but specifically for this, it's excellent. What we need to do is very simple. We're gonna use a little brush where we can adjust the size of it right here. And to start with, we will select all the spots we want to remove. So let's start by doing that. And maybe a smaller size, you can also, uh, Use the keyboard to adjust the size of the brush if you want to. And let's just highlight all the spots. Now, why I like this tool is also that uh, when I apply the erase selection, it gets this kind of transparent red spot so I can see what's behind it and I can really make the selection nice and correct. So here, here, so here, and we move to the upper part. Now, if I'm not happy with the selection, I just need to click on deselect and then I can just brush away the parts where I maybe went a little bit over the top. What you really want to do when you're selecting the part of the skin, um, you want to make sure that you only selecting a little bit of extra skin around. So you need to make sure that you keep adjusting your brush. Is there more? Yeah, maybe here, here. Well, I think this will be good to start with. There's one here as well. Obviously, again, when you're doing the edit, you're more than welcome to take as much time as you want, but this will give you an idea of what we're trying to do. So to start with, let's just deselect this. To start with, I think we're good. So once you select all the spots you would like to remove, all you need to do here is to click on the erase button. So let's click on that. It will take a moment, it will do all the calculations it needs, and once it's finished, it should remove the spots for us. So it took about 10-15 seconds to do the calculation. However, let's have a look at the result. We will zoom out a little bit, and we will use this little eye here to show you before and after. And I think the difference is huge. And I love how simple it is to use this tool. So the erase tool in combination with the skin AI tool, uh, those together creating a really powerful combo of tools that can really help you to adjust the skin and get the most out of it. Now, as when it comes to removing different parts of the skin, it really is up to you to see how natural look you're trying to create and making sure that you only removing what you feel that is right to remove. So completely up to you. 
And now the final image in this tutorial is this image of the couple, uh, just to see how well this tool is going to work on image where there is more than one person. So let's bring it back to our edit module and you already know the drill. We're going back to portrait and skin AI. So we have a two couple here and let's start by pushing the amount slider and introduce some smoothness to their skin and let's see if it actually applies to both of them. So I slide it quite far. Uh, don't worry, I will bring it back afterwards, but I want to see if it actually works on both of the faces and it does. And I think that's really, really cool. Now, um, Maybe I like the effect a little bit more on her face than him, simply because you just kind of expect different textures on each of the faces. But it's good to know that the tool initially works on both of the faces and that it actually applies to all the faces on the image. After that, I think definitely some shine removal. He has some sun here on his nose. So let's see when we push it. If we push it all the way, that also really, really works very well. Let me show you before and after. And finally, using the skin defect removal, um, what did it remove? Let's see. Definitely some moles here and here, maybe some other um, imperfections on his skin. And I think it worked very well. Once again, what we can do here is if we're not happy with few things the skin defect remover removes, what we can do is we can use the masking tool to actually bring them back. So just to remind ourselves, the two moles are here and we wanna keep them on. So we click on skin defect removal so that will remove everything it needs. And then we will go into our masking by using this button right here. And what we wanna use is we wanna use the erase tool. So we wanna erase certain part of the effect from the image. Now, again, we want to make sure that we are on the paint mask. We want to adjust the size. In this case, even adjust the softness a little bit. And now we're just going to paint in this area of the image, bringing back this part. Now, as you can see, I also uncovered a little bit of the shine. So let's zoom back in. And now we're going to use the brush to bring part of the effect back. So we will just very gently brush over the part where there is the shine. So something like this, just to fix it all back. So this is how you would work in a combination with the skin defect removal. If the skin defect removal AI doesn't remove everything, I would go ahead and use the erase tool as a part of the process. If it removes too much and it, if it removes parts that you don't want to remove, then you need to use the masking erase tool and go ahead and erase it from certain parts of the image where you want these imperfection moles, anything to stay on the face. And finally, to answer your question, what to do when I want the skin AI to be applied only to one face or what to do if I want to apply different uh, values to uh, different faces on the image? Well, the answer would be really simple. So let's reset the tool. Everything is back to the beginning. Let's just go into actions, revert to original to make sure that we're starting from the beginning and let's go into our skin AI. So first we're going to be focusing on the skin of the lady. By default, it will apply to both of them, but don't worry about it. First, focus on the skin of the lady. So we will push the amount and we will actually push it quite far, I think to something like this. So it looks all like she has a lot of makeup and it's all nice and smooth. Now with the shine removal, she actually doesn't have that much shine on her. So we don't need to push the slider too far. And to finish it off, we will use the skin defect removal and that will remove the little part of the skin here on her chin. So this is it. Now, obviously that looks a little bit over the top for his skin. So how to make sure that this applies only to her skin. Once again, we're going to use the masking tool. So we are focusing on the area right here. We're going to click on add mask. And we need to make sure that we are on paint mask and we need to make sure that we are on the paint brush tool right here. Again, let's adjust the size to something like this. Now, at this moment, the effect is applied to everywhere, both of the faces. The moment I will start to brush, it will only get applied to the areas where, where, where I will brush with the tool. So let me show you. I will click once and at that moment, all the adjustments disappear from his face. And now I will just brush over her face. And as you can see, when I'm brushing, I'm also seeing the mask. So that makes everything a little bit easier for us. And 
as we brushing with the strength i really just need to do one brush stroke to adjust all of that and to apply the effect to all parts of her skin so that would be how i would adjust hair and now how could we also adjust his face but separately well it's very simple all you need to do now is to close this tool and by doing that the tool settings automatically moves into the edit section right here so this section is all about hair it's about hair face so we go back into our tools and again we open our no face AI. we're going to open our skin ai tool and now we're focusing on his skin so with the amount we're going to be much more gentle so somewhere around here but in comparison with hair we're going to really push the shine removal and we're going to use the skin defects removal as well on his skin so at the moment it's again applying it to both of the faces but we only want to apply to his face so we're going to go into the add mask make sure we are on a paint mask make sure we are on our brush we're going to adjust the size and the moment i start to paint it only applies to his face and there you have it so that's about it let me show you before and after and that's it. Now, if I want to move in and step in and remove some other parts, once again, we can close this. We can move to our erase tool, zoom in to at least 100%. And then by using the select and our brush, I can just brush over the parts I want to remove. Maybe there is part here, part here, here. Again, it's completely up to you. Very much artistic decision of what you want to remove and once you're happy with the selection you just click on erase that will take a moment and once it's finished it will remove all of these spots so let's zoom out and let me show you the before and after and i think the difference and the result is huge so i love what this tool can do sometimes you have to use a combination of different tools and when it comes to the skin ai i think the combination with the erase tool is very powerful and i hope this is going to be helpful for you and now to recap what we learned today talking about our skin ai tool here in portrait section of our tools in luminar neo we have uh, two sliders here first one the amount help us to add uh, additional smoothness to the skin it also helps to remove unwanted variation while preserving textures and details then the very very powerful shine removal tool with its own slider helping us to remove the shine from certain parts of the face and replacing it with natural looking skin and the third option which can be very helpful and work as a starting point on your edits when you use the skin defect removal ai it will automatically remove skin defects in a portrait now it's important to remember that specifically this tool works very well in a combination with the erase tool as you can do some really nice edits to your portrait photos so now it's time to get your own luminar neo shortcut cheat sheet all you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift and get it right now Thank you so much for watching i hope you had a fun and i hope you learned something new please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering luminar neo for today thank you very much for watching my name is jacob bors and i can't wait to see you in the next one yeah.